Hey, shout them all, shout them all. I want to give my all praise and glory all the doing to the album by Shimmy Yahweh Shah, by Shimmy for Hopping Us, that will understand the apostle, elders, and prophets, and that will to the brother teaching truth all over the globe worldwide. And, you know, basically, you know, it's just going to be a lesson to the power of the spirit of uh, Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. You know, basically, uh, let us know that it's not going to be long until Yahweh Shah returns. And reason why, why it's not going to be long. Because uh, you see all of the uh, prophecies are popping off right before you very rise. And, and uh, in this world cannot accept the fact that the matter that uh, Yahweh Shah is going to return back. And he's only going to gather uh, his uh, uh, hopeful letter of you know, the house of Israel, you see. And, uh, and Yahweh Shah is not coming back for the whole world. As, as they want you to believe, but he's not going to come back for uh, Israel. Because Matthew chapter 24, you know, roughly around, I believe, around the, uh, at least uh, maybe like the 20th to the 25th verse, if I'm not mistaken, you know, basically he said the Son of Man is going to come back and he's going to uh, gather together his elect from the four winds of, of the of the heaven from one end of the earth to the other, you know, basically it's going to be that uh, let the Israel, the house shall come back for. He's not going to come back for everybody on the planet. And that will get, you know, the people in this society and the people around the world all messed up. Because they believe that house shall, when he comes back, he's only going to come back. You know, he's going to come back for everybody on the planet that, that is so called Christian. But get what? Your house shall is not coming back for, for uh, everybody. He's only going to come back for the elect. And the elect is of the house of Israel. And that will get, you know, get uh, our people, as well as, you know, everybody on the planet messed up because they really believe when your house shall return, he's going to return. He's going to get, he's going to uh, gather up uh, everybody throughout the planet, which he's not. He's going to gather up the whole for elect. You see, he, that's, that's who he's going to gather. He's not going to gather uh, everybody on the planet. And that was and that was messing up a lot of uh, a lot of people. But you got to understand the scriptures and, and read it in context. Because uh, Isaiah chapter 28 verse 10 tells us, you know, precept must be upon precept, precept upon, upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, and there a little. You see, that's how you understand the scripture. You take one scripture and and then you uh, get the precept for that scripture to get an understanding of what the Bible is. Because the Bible is uh, written in code on it for the elect of Israel to understand and to teach all the nations throughout the four corners of the globe. And, and that's being the scriptures too, you know, back up the fact of now that the house is only going to come back for Israel. You know, you even have, uh, you know, Wisdom of Solomon, you know, chapter 5, verse 1 through 3. And, you know, when talk about Yahusha, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna gather up his elect. Then, you know, he, you know, what I'm saying, and he's gonna gather up those that, you know, people laugh and mock and scoff at, you know, those who are on the highways, byways, teaching and making uh, lessons, you know, going into the, uh, you know, going to the hopeful elect. He said, going into, uh, you know, Yahusha returning and gathering up uh, Israel. He's not. He's not gonna come back for the other nations as you know the you know uh, everybody wants you to believe, you know, if they all so called wacky type Christian wants you to believe that he's gonna come back, he's gonna save everybody. You know, he's not gonna save everybody. That's a, if that's the case, you're gonna have to explain Matthew chapter twenty four when he said when he come when he returns he's gonna gather up his elect. And elect is only a, a, a few select people that he's gonna gather. He's gonna come back for the 144,000, man. You know, he's gonna come back 144,000. It's part of that one third, you see. He's only gonna come back for the one third of Israel. And that will get these uh, Christians and all these other people messed up. Because in their mind, they can't accept the fact of the matter that your house shot is gonna come back. He, he's only gonna got a, a certain amount of people. You know, they're gonna uh, put the ring in the chariots. And everybody else, and everybody else is gonna going to be destroyed, man, you know, it's going to be a certain amount of people that's going to be destroyed, it's going to be something that's going to survive the new the Holocaust, but the fact of the matter is that those, those in the nation that survive, you know, uh, World War Three, are uh, surviving the nuclear Holocaust, you see, they're they going to be, uh, they're going to be enslaved, but, you know, the 
market time Christians don't want to believe that they believe they believe that everybody's gonna get a fair shake in the kingdom of heaven, but guess what? It's not gonna be like that. Because Isaiah 14 and 2 tells you that uh that you know uh, all of uh, uh everybody else gonna be guided into he's gonna be taken to uh and taken to this place. And what they they will be taken to Israel, they're gonna be possession for Israel, you know, for hand for hand service and handmaids. You know, that shows you right there that the Most High ain't dealing with everybody. And that shows you right there that the Most High, you know, he only have, has a, a one one nation that he loves and he chose. And that's, and that's the house of Israel. Because Deuteronomy 7, chapter verse 6 said that, you know, Israel is a special people. They're above, you know, they're above all the other nations. And that's the reason why a lot of nations hate you, black, Latino, Native American, man, because they have a problem except the fact that about them. That you how and so you how shall only loves Israel, you know what I'm saying? Because he, that he's not dealing with any other nation, you know. You, know, you can read that in uh, Isaiah chapter 40 and 17, and also in Second uh, Ezra, the sixth chapter, the 56th verse. You see, you can also read Romans 9:13, where he said, "Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated." You can also read read uh, Second Ezra 6 and 9, which is Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob is the end of it that follow with you. You got a lot of scriptures, you know, showing you that the Most High doesn't love everybody. He also, he's only going to deal with Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you black, Latino, Native Americans. And it's very ironic. It's just like uh, our people just don't get it, man. You know, and here it is, and you got to, you got to uh, sit back and meditate and think about this. Here it is, the, the Most High, Yahweh, and Son, Yahweh, child. You know, basically put his love on you, and you know, you being, you know, Israelite, you know, you black, Latino, Native American, and yet it's just some way, somehow, that you refuse to want, want to accept it, man. You refuse to want to accept that the Most High loves us. He, 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 he's only dealing with us. He's only dealing with Israelites, and he's not dealing with the whole world. You know, what I'm saying if you been to Israelite, you have common sense. You, you gonna realize that the Most High is fighting for us. See, the one that are down, Charlie, the one that they can't even can't even get a good, decent paying job. You know, the ones that are uh, first fire and last hire. And the ones that are three fifths of a human being. You know what I'm saying? That that uh they're being called bowers and prop uh propers and bowers, you know what I'm saying? He come back and he come back, he said to let to those people, man, and, and he chose those people that that if we check them on society. And, it, and that messes our people up because they can't see the fact of the matter that, that the Most High love them. Because you can read that in uh, Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. He said, uh, you know, son to a faith. He said, you know, he said, he said uh, uh, you know, Most High said, uh, you know, I love Israel and yet I choose Jacob. And then they ask question, how, can, how do you love Israel? It's not, uh, it's not Esau, Jacob's brother, you know, something to that fact. How people get messed up over oh, the fact of the matter that the Most High loves them, and He doesn't look, He doesn't deal with anybody else. He said all this stuff is going on. Why, you know, based why, you know, He said He loves us and all this hell and all this calamity come upon us because first and foremost, we disobeyed the law, statutes, commands of Yahweh, by Shem Al Shah. You know, what I'm saying we broken the covenant. That's the reason why all this stuff come upon us. If you are in the Scriptures and y'all men of the Lord, you understand that fact. That the most high uh allow things to happen to us because the fact of the matter we the one that disobeyed his law statute commandments. We the ones that fell off and we the ones that decided to serve other gods, you know, made of wood, stone and, and stubble. You know, wood and stone. You see? And, and we and we up there asking a question and that's a straight up answer of, you know what I'm saying, the most the most high allowed this stuff to happen to us because now we disobeyed the law statute and, and commands of of uh, what he given it to us, but also that that's an indicator, current line indicated that we are his chosen people. Because when your house shall return, when your house shall return, you know, when he gonna gather he gonna gather a list of Israel, those that are under the curses. You see it's not it's not a very hard concept to understand. Because because that's who he's coming back for. He's not coming back for uh, the whole entire world. He's not coming back for, you know, all the nation. He's gonna come back for the left of Israel. And our people gonna have to grasp that, you know. 
it, it, it ain't gonna be too bad. So sad. a lot of our people are not gonna make it because they still they can't accept the fact that the matter most high is only dealing with Israel. He's not dealing with the other nations. And, and the, you have brothers that goes into that time and time and time and time and time, and time again. It, it's not a hard concept. Once you're a man of the Lord, it's not a hard concept to figure out. You see, you you accept that and, and be like, you know, most high only dealing with Israel. He's not going to deal with everybody else. And, and that's something that we just going to have to come to terms with. And if you're one of those people that you, you just can't come to terms with the fact that the most high only dealing with Israel, he's not dealing with the other nations, you, you're going you gonna to be stuck, man. You, you're gonna, you, you, you're in that mindset that the most high... Most high is not dealing, you know what I'm saying? He's he not dealing with the other nations. And that's going and that's messing you all up. You see, scriptures clearly back itself up. It it, it it goes into a time and time and time again and it repeats itself. Why why does scripture repeat itself? Because Jacob is very hard headed, man. The most high chose chose people are stiff necked and rebellious and very hard headed. And most high comes, got to repeat himself over and over and over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? He got to come to prove himself over and over and over and over again. Because Jake is hard-headed, man. Jake, Jake is like, uh, it's like one of them, one of them, uh, small rebellious kids. You tell them don't touch the, uh, stove, don't touch that stove because it's hot. And then you you gonna have you got Jake will turn around and still touch the stove anyway, even though you already don't told him the consequence and repercussion what's gonna happen when he touch the stove. But yeah, you know Jake turns around he'll still touch the stove anyway, even though he he got warned that you touch that stove it's gonna be hot. And yet Jake will turn around and still do it anyway. Why? Because Jake had you know Jake is very stubborn. You know he's very hard headed. And and most high guy constantly reminds Jake. Mind his chosen people, which you black Latino Native Americans, that he's only he's only uh, dealing with you, you you only people that he known and he loved. So why why it's a very hard concept for you to understand that he, he you know what I'm saying he he don't destroy nations for you, you know what I'm saying he you know what I'm saying he deliver you out of the hand of Pharaoh the king of Egypt, you know what I'm saying he deliver you out of out of many of your trials and tribulations and all your troubles, but yet. You got Jake would turn around and, and still won't get it, man. You know, Jake still will not get it. And and that's the reason why the Most High allowing these things to happen to Jake. You know, Jake going to have to understand that the Most High is only dealing with him. You know, he don't deal with Israel. He's not dealing with the other nations. You know what I'm saying? Who he, uh, in, according to John uh, chapter 3, verse 14, you know, it reads that, uh, you know, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so this shall the Son of Man be lifted up. The question is, who who did the who did the, uh, Moses lift the, up? What uh, nation of people that the Moses uh, Moses lift up the serpent to when they got bitten? You know, in the wilderness. You know, they only get, he only lifted uh, the serpent up to the Israelites. You know, what I'm saying the Most High only gave his all statutes commandments to Israel. You can read that in uh, Isaiah, and Isaiah, Psalms, so like 147 chapter, the 19th and the 20th verse. You know, that gives you a, a straight concept. That the Most High is on only dealing with Israel, you know it, it's through, it's throughout and it's, and it's throughout the Scriptures, man. The Most High can't, you know, what I'm saying he, he, you know, what I'm saying he, he makes it very plain for you. It's just like it's just like uh, our people just don't get it, man. It's like it's like uh, like it's a it's it's a stumbling block to them for some reason. And the Most High, you know, is always constantly telling Jay, man. He always constantly tell, telling Jay. That he's only he only had he only loved them. He do, he's not dealing with no other nation. And seeing like Jake still, I mean, they still don't get it. Even after even after you constantly keep explaining Jake. Most high only dealing with Jake. Most high only dealing with Jake. And guess what? And they and they still, I mean, still would not get it. It's just it's just like it 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 it's just some way, somehow that 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 this uh, saying is, is going over their head. You see, it, it, it's going over their head, and Jay, Jay just don't get it. He don't understand why the Most High only dealing with him. You know, he doesn't understand that the Most High is only dealing with, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel, mainly the whole for that. Yeah. And that trips a lot of people up. That trips a lot of these nations up as well, because these nations can't understand why the Most High only dealing with Jay. 
but the other nations, you know what I'm saying, they don't understand that they were made to serve Jay. And that, and that messes them up as well because, you know, they'll mess, they'll mess you up too. And you realize that you're going to create it to serve Jay, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You won't get no fair shake in this society where in, in the world. Even even if you had Jason, even though you had Jake in subjection, and you ruling over Jake and you you benefit off Jake, but guess what? At the end, at the end game and end all and be all, and that the most your house shots aren't gonna come back for the elect of Israel. He ain't come back for the other nation. The other nation gonna be put back in their place, meaning that they are gonna serve the Israelites. And uh, Esau is going to serve Israel in a thousand years of hardcore slavery, and then he's going to be rounded up to be destroyed afterwards. You know that, you know, and that's the reason why a lot of nations are mad. Especially Esau, he's mad because he got, he realized fast and mild that he's still going to serve Jake at the end. He, he's still going to have to uh, uh, serve Jake. And he's going to understand fast and mild that uh that most high ain't didn't one dealing with him in the first place. He only got he only used Esau to punish Jake for what for what we have done. And in you know, Revelation chapter twelve verse twelve, you know, you know, the devil's mad, you know, Esau eat him because he has a short time. And he and and that's that's to understand that he's only gonna you know what I'm saying, he's only gonna deal with Jake. And Esau mad and he's upset and all the other nations are upset too. But it is what it is. But it is what it is. The Most High is only dealing with Jake. He's not dealing with Esau. He ain't dealing with the other nations. And he, he definitely ain't dealing with two thirds Israel. You see, yeah, he gonna deal with Israel in the kingdom of heaven. You know, but the law is gonna be written in our inward parts. And and you know, Jake is not gonna be. You know, he's not gonna be Israel nigger anymore. Meaning that he's not gonna be. Uh, he's not gonna be going off because the law is gonna be written in his inward parts. You know, all the other nations as well as Esau Edom is, you know what I'm saying, is not going to get that luxury. You see, they're not going to get that luxury because the Most High is not dealing with them. And, and they're going to go into slavery, you know. And that's it for a lesson, you know, just, you know, made it to the job, you know, made it to the plantation. going to go over here and do my time and, and get out, you know, make, and make this uh, check. You know, you know how this go. You got the... Uh, work for a living and to make a uh make a uh living you know it's little no it's little or nothing but you know in this side we gotta do what we gotta do because scripture says if a man don't work he don't eat you know so lock it for that for that rent you know but that's it for a lesson want to give all praise glory honor do unto yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem Hakadash, double honors to the apostle elders and prophets another respect to the brothers teacher truth all over the globe See you again with another lesson real soon. You're high willing. Shout out to Wam, Ababa Ball, and Kwame Yasharala.